Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at how you find the area and perimeter of shapes. Um, and the particular method we're going to use is counting squares. Now, this is something that sounds simple, but people make silly mistakes on all the time. So we wanted to make a video on this to make sure that everyone understands. So before we start, um, just to remind you that the perimeter of a shape is the distance around the outside. Now, usually the units for this are in centimetres or metres or millimetres. And the area is the space inside the shape. And the units for this are usually centimetres squared or metres squared or millimetres squared. So you need to remember those units because sometimes in exam questions, you have to write the units down yourself and they're worth one mark. Okay, so we're going to move straight on to some worked examples now. So we're going to look at two questions together and then you can have a go at one on your own. So this first example, this rectangle is drawn on a centimetre grid. So imagine these boxes, they're one centimetre wide. Okay, now the first thing it asks you to do is to find the perimeter. Now on this very easy shape, find the perimeter is easy. So what you would need to do is use a pen or maybe even a highlighter and just go along the edge of the shape because don't forget the perimeter means the outside okay the distance around the shape so if you go one two three four five and then down one two three and then across one two three four five and then one two three so in total we've got five add three is eight add five is 13 add three is 18. So our final answer for the perimeter is 18. And don't forget your units, it'll be 18 centimetres because it's a centimetre grid. Now your area, it's even easier to work out because it's just the space inside. Now when it's on a grid, all that means you have to do is count up how many boxes there are. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So your area is 15, don't forget your units, centimetres squared. Okay, next one is slightly trickier, and this is where people usually make the mistakes for perimeter. So this is where it becomes really important that you do use your pen or highlighter to go around the edge of the shape. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to go along one, down two, three, across four, five, up six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So that's 20 altogether. So the perimeter is 20 centimetres. Now, the reason people often get that wrong is because they count the boxes. So they'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that's not, that's not right. That is the area. So that's where it's important that you're going around the outside with a pen or a highlighter. So moving on to the area then, nice and easy. It is just counting the boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And don't forget your unit centimetres squared. So it's a very, very simple concept, but you need to be able to know the difference between perimeter and area, so make sure you memorise that. Um, and these would be silly marks for losing an exam, so make sure that you've got that sorted. And just have a go at this question. So if I were you, I'd draw it out yourself, and then follow the same methods and see what you get. Pause the video. Okay, so the, the perimeter of the shape, you go along the edges, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the perimeter is 20 centimetres and the area, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 centimetres squared. And that's that. So if you make sure you've got all that written down, move on to the worksheet, do the exit card and send it off to your teacher.